Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 5 of my Trailblazer League series. Uh, in the last one, did quite a bit of stuff, honestly. I think one of the biggest things was I got a Dragon Defender, as well as a Dragon Scimitar. And uh, this is what the stats are looking like, what the skills are looking like right now. Uh, 1346 total level, and then also this is where the points are sitting at currently working towards getting level 70 mining so I can mine a piece of Addy ore which I think is at the very minimum obviously very minimum it's going to be a medium task it could be a hard task I can't honestly remember but then after that what I will probably be doing is focusing on doing some quests most notably like Holy Grail, King's Ransom and uh, the Lost Tribe, Death to Dorgashan that kind of stuff because they're, they're also they're worth points for some of them, but then also it'll help me get prayer up, which will get me closer to unlocking piety and chivalry, which both of these are tasks to unlock. And then maybe after that, uh, do some of the achievement diaries. I've done the easy and medium for Ardune, and then pretty much all of the other easy diaries that I can um, outside of Falador and Western Provinces, but very close with the Medium Diary for Lumbridge and Varrock. Shouldn't take me too long to do those. That way I can put more XP into prayer. Also, I really need to start getting my uh, birdhouse runs going because I've been neglecting that like it's nobody's business. So that's the plan. We will see where I deviate from it, where I just have my ooh shiny moment and just go down a completely different path. Uh, but until then, still work towards level 70. There is Portion of Interest quest completed. That was a medium task for 50 points, as well as, what, 12k Slayer XP, which brings me up to level 55. Sweet. I think I saw that wielding a Bug Lantern is also 50 points. Um, I thought wielding a Lit one was another one, but I guess not. Whatever. Goblin Diplomacy done, with a whole heck of a lot of crafting XP from that one. Woohoo! The Lost Tribe has officially been found, and I got 50 points from it, as well as a Ring of Life, so I don't lose my hardcore status, because, you know, that's something that I care so much about. A Death to the Dorgashan completed another 50 points, 2k Thieving and then 2k Ranged, obviously times 12 which brought me up to level 47 range. That's actually pretty good. Another task I know is to purchase this and equip that. That is yet another 50 point task. Go ahead and update where we're sitting with points. Yet another medium task was to uh, pickpocket a bullseye lantern from one of these cave goblins. Another thing is to steal a diamond from one of the chests, but uh, I don't know where it's at, so I'm going to have to find that. That was a twofer right there. It was both a medium task in the Falador area, as well as a medium task for the Trailblazer League for lighting the bullseye lantern for another 50 good old point there we go there is the hard task of stealing a diamond from the dorgish khan rich chests guess that was well worth the easy 100 points and there's the clean necklace aka the dig site pendant didn't take too long Ooh, a jade look at that uh but yeah didn't take too long usually doesn't this is actually kind of fun for me because i like seeing the kudos go up more and more Kind of weird, but, well, you know, whatever. Delrith has been slain, Demon Slayer has been completed, and I got 50 more points. Yay. Oh, hey, that was a task as well, to use a dig site pendant to teleport to Fossil Island. And then just to show you here, too, uh, if I do Fossil Island, it does not count down any charges. I have unlimited charges. So thank you, uh, Eternal Jeweler Relic. There you go, there's the first birdhouse for the Trailblazer League. Three more left to go, and I th these are supposed to be like really, really good hunter XP early on before I, you know, go and do something like Chinchampas or, you know, whatever. Holy crap, I finally got it. Oh my gosh, I hate this place. Like, I already am not a huge fan of Fossil Island. I love the design of it. Love the design. I hate this. I don't care that I'm getting close to 600,000 uh, woodcutting XP per hour. I, I, I do not like this. I am never coming back here again. 
Another task, reach a prayer bonus of 15 with my good old monk robes. Building an oak larder in my POH is yet another, well, it's a 43 construction, and it is also a medium task for 50 more points. Continuing on with the medium tasks being completed, equipping a U shortbow is another 50 points. It is also a requirement for the Temple of Ikov quest, so we can do that at some point. Oh my word, I checked one, and I got 6,700 XP and I got to level, from level 25 to level 31. Wow. Also, that is base level 30 for another medium task. Hey, we're back in resizable mode. Also, completely missed it. Um, I went and got 60 agility. And uh, one of a hard task, oh, there's 61 agility. A hard task was to complete a lap of the Sears Village agility course. It was worth 100 points. It was also a hard task in the Candoran area. So that was pretty cool. Well, this is the first beginner clue casket for Trailblazer League. I did have a medium clue that uh, I actually got three steps into it, but I was unlucky and I had to go to the dual arena, which obviously I don't have the desert unlocked um, because I was in Piro Piro catching some eclectic implings. And uh, I did some other little menial tasks. Uh, I think from now on, I'm not going to do like every little, especially easy tasks. I'm probably not going to show my, many more of those at all because it just feels like i'm inundating the entire video with just like hey this is a task this is a task this is a task so i'll probably just do little like summary things but anyway let's open up this beginner beginner clue casket with my uh next with my passive relic here nope that's the wrong one i think it's this one uh items from sources will be twice as common that includes uniques so nothing from there but it i guess i say i'm not gonna do beginner i'm not gonna do easy tasks but whatever i guess it was the first casket i had to. i will include that one though because it is a hard task i went and got well i guess 67 agility in order to use this shortcut here that was worth 100 points uh, i'm look i'm going for the crafting 50 cosmic runes right now i guess this is a more of a milestoney kind of one that is 40 runecraft as well as reach base level 40 not gonna quite go for base level 50 because of farming and i want to be able to get my fourth relic or no sorry my fifth relic before i really start to get farming going I believe it was a hard task no it was only a medium task oh well Medium task to complete a reanimated set of rune armor, so there's that. Don't exactly know why I haven't done this one quite yet, but this is a hard task to come up here to the Piscatorius fishing colony area and catch a monkfish. So 100 free points, uh, 650 more points left. I completed another hard task, which was catching 100 sharks, and now I'm going to be going for burning a magic log, which I need to get 75 fire making. Honestly, shouldn't take me too long whatsoever. Then... There we go. Burning some magic logs was 100 points. Just going to go ahead and burn all the rest of these. I don't have quite 75. It just takes so long to to chop magic logs. It's not even funny. I'm going to have to do this in little short spurts. Go ahead and drink the wizard's mind bomb and then cast wind wave onto this poor guard. Did it one shot it? No, not quite. But anyway, that was another 100 point task. 350 points remain until we unlock the fifth relic. Yet another hard task done there, mining 50 adamantite ore, which I misunderstood it. I thought it meant uh, just mining 50 addy ore, which included motherload mine. It does not. I had to mine, I think, 10 more extra outside of what I actually had. All right, it is time. One last pickpocket. There you have it. There is level 95 thieving, which is the first level 95 on the account. So that is an elite task, which means now that I'm back close to 200k, I can also never fail uh, an arty night with the medium diary. So that's pretty cool. I don't even need food anymore. 
but most importantly, it means I can unlock my next tier of relic. Now, initially, with my tier 5 relic, I was going to go with the botanist. Obviously, because of farming cycles, for every 1 minute instead of 5 minutes, you get double the resources gathered from farming, um, and then mixing potions always results in a 4-dose potion, 95% chance of saving your secondary ingredient, and then finally, stats boosted above their base level will no longer drain down over time. So you can sit there with like 110, or not 110, 118, I think, or 115 strength if you wanted to, and it would just never go back down. The reason why I'm not going to go with the botanist is because... I kind of think I finally know what I want to do with this league. Obviously, I said from the beginning I want to max this account because I feel like that's going to be the most amount of points possible for me, you know, maxing it and then getting 25 mil XP in every single in every single stat. Doing the botanist, this really only directly helps farming and herblor, which both of those aren't necessarily hard skills to do. Farming is just long because of the time that you have to put into it. Then obviously there's the, the, this one is like your PVM. If you want to do lots of bossing, if you want to do all that kind of stuff, take the botanist. Me personally, I don't want this. Infernal gathering is essentially the infernal tools that are in the, the main game, you know, with the harpoon, pickaxe, and the axe, it's ju just, it makes the stuff. Um, this one is, pr if you want to do maxing, if you want to do uh, 25 mil or even 200 mil XP rates, this is good in certain, in certain skills, at least in my opinion. It would be very, very good to couple that with Endless Harvest. I mean, that's like an AFK player's like wet dream, honestly, with those two. Personally, I, I thought about taking this one to kind of be different because I didn't see too many people taking it. But the more I thought about this one, I over I, I overlooked this one at first because I didn't think it was total level. I thought it was total level for that skill. But it's the actual full-on total level. So, like, for me personally right now, I would get um, 145 extra xp per action so like if i'm mining pure essence instead of 60 xp per essence i get 205 yeah 205 yeah 205 xp per essence which is huge so that would help make rune crafting a lot easier for me to do and just overall it provides a boost to every single skill which is why i and that is why I am going to be going with Equilibrium, because I want to move my way up the rankings as far as I can. If, I, if that means for certain skills I got 200 mil, then that means I get 200 mil in certain skills. I don't plan on getting 200 mil in every single skill, obviously. Like, that's just insane. I mean, there's only, like, what, seven people, I think, that have done it in the main game itself. But I'm going to push my skills and push myself to the farthest of what I can. And I think Equilibrium is really, really going to help, especially once I get the uh, sixth relic with the multiplier from 12x to 16x. So without further ado, we are going to confirm it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. We've unlocked the Equilibrium relic. So... It just as like a little as a little thing here initially i got 1014 i had now get 1157 off of each one that's my total level 10 percent of my total level added onto it which is gonna boost my xp rates per hour outstandingly high and with claiming the tier 5 relic that is going to mark the end of the video for today again Lots and lots and lots of stuff done. Don't I've I've given up looking at my high score. I don't know where I'm at. I don't really want to know where I'm at because then I might feel inferior <laughs> to <laughs> what some other people are doing. But that's whatever. That's just my own personal thing. 
Um, anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video.